Tricalcium phosphate, E341. Is this common food additive harming your health? Ever wonder what those mysterious ingredients on your food labels actually do? Let's dive into one you've probably seen. Tricalcium phosphate, E341. We'll uncover its uses, potential risks, and how to be a savvy consumer. Tricalcium phosphate, TCP, also known as calcium phosphate tribasic, is a calcium salt that's become a staple in the food, pharmaceutical, and supplement industries. Think of it as a white, odorless powder that's often lurking behind the scenes. But what does it do? It's primarily used as a texturizing agent, an anti-caking agent, and even as a calcium supplement. It's like the Swiss Army knife of food additives, tackling multiple jobs at once. But is this multitasker always a good thing? Let's explore its roles in the food we eat. TCP is a workhorse in the food industry, playing several key roles to improve the quality and shelf life of our favorite products. It's not just about adding calcium, it's about enhancing the overall experience. Texturizing Agent It steps in to improve the texture and consistency in many processed foods, giving them that perfect feel in your mouth. Think of it as the secret ingredient that makes your favorite snacks so satisfying. Anti-caking agent. Nobody likes clumpy powdered foods. TCP acts as a shield preventing clumping in powdered foods and ensuring a smooth, consistent product. It's the unsung hero of your spice rack. Calcium fortifier. Need a calcium boost? TCP is sometimes added to foods or supplements to increase their calcium content. It's a convenient way to sneak in extra calcium, especially in products targeted at children or those with dietary restrictions. You might be surprised where TCP pops up. It's more common than you think, especially in processed foods designed for convenience and long shelf life. Here are some common foods that may contain tricalcium phosphate powdered spices and seasonings, ensuring they flow freely and don't clump together. Baking mixes, e.g. pancake or cake mixes, contributing to the texture and preventing lumps. Processed cheese and cheese spreads, helping to maintain a smooth, spreadable consistency. Instant puddings, giving them that creamy, delightful texture we all love. Non-dairy creamers, preventing clumping and improving the overall mouthfeel. Infant formulas, as a source of calcium for growing babies. Nutritional supplements, especially calcium or multivitamins, boosting the calcium content. Toothpastes, non-food use, used as a polishing agent. Always check those ingredient lists. Look for tricalcium phosphate or its code E341. Knowledge is power when it comes to making informed food choices. To give you a clearer picture, let's look at some brand examples where you might find TCP. Keep in mind that formulations can vary by country, so always double-check the label. You might find TCP in Nestle powdered products, used in various powdered beverages and food mixes. Ensure nutrition drinks, as a calcium source and texturizer. Craft processed cheese to maintain its smooth, spreadable texture. Centrum or one-a-day multivitamins as a calcium supplement. Similac or Enfamil infant formulas, providing essential calcium for infants. Remember, this isn't an exhaustive list and product formulations can change. The golden rule? Always check the ingredient list for tricalcium phosphate or E341. Now for the crucial part, the potential health risks. While TCP is generally considered safe in small amounts, there are concerns about high phosphorus intake and the potential for nanoparticle accumulation. According to health databases and food safety authorities, high phosphorus intake, especially in the form of inorganic phosphate like TCP, is linked to disrupted calcium metabolism, throwing off the delicate balance of calcium in your body. Bone demineralization, potentially weakening your bones over time. Increased risk of cardiovascular diseases, a serious concern for heart health. Kidney damage or strain, putting extra stress on your kidneys. 
accumulation in organs when in nanoparticle form, a long-term concern that needs more research. The nanoparticle concern is particularly noteworthy. TCP may exist in extremely small particles that can bypass natural body barriers and accumulate in organs over time. While the long-term effects are still being studied, it's a reason to be mindful of your intake. The legal status of TCP varies from country to country, reflecting different levels of scrutiny and concern. Approved in the U.S. by the FDA as grass, generally recognized as safe, meaning it's considered safe for its intended use. Allowed in the EU as E341, but restricted in use quantities, reflecting a more cautious approach. Permitted in Canada, Australia, and most developed countries, generally accepted for use in food products. Under stricter evaluation in Japan and some Scandinavian countries for nanoparticle concerns, highlighting the ongoing debate about potential risks. These varying regulations underscore the need for consumers to stay informed and make their own decisions based on their individual health needs and concerns. So, should you be worried about TCP lurking in your food? It depends on your individual circumstances and dietary habits. You should be aware, especially if you consume a lot of processed foods or supplements, as these are the most likely sources of TCP. You have kidney issues or cardiovascular conditions, as high phosphorus intake can exacerbate these conditions. You are trying to reduce phosphorus intake due to medical advice, following a specific dietary plan for health reasons. You eat a Western diet high in phosphate additives, as this can lead to excessive phosphorus consumption. If any of these apply to you, it's worth taking a closer look at your diet and making informed choices. The good news is you can take control and minimize your exposure to TCP without drastically changing your lifestyle. Here's how to be a smart consumer. Read ingredient labels carefully. Watch for tricalcium phosphate or E341. Make it a habit to scan labels before you buy. Choose whole, unprocessed foods as often as possible. Focus on fresh fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. Limit powder-based processed items, e.g. baking mixes, powdered creamers. Opt for whole food alternatives whenever possible. Don't over-supplement calcium unless directed by your doctor. More isn't always better, especially when it comes to supplements. Consult a dietitian if you have kidney disease or are managing bone density. Get personalized advice tailored to your specific health needs. By following these simple tips, you can make informed choices and protect your health. Now that you're armed with the facts about tricalcium phosphate, it's time to take action. Start by reading the labels of your favorite foods and supplements. Choose whole, unprocessed options whenever possible and limit your intake of heavily processed items. If you have any concerns about your phosphorus intake or your overall health, consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian. Don't wait. Empower yourself with knowledge and make informed choices for a healthier, happier you. Share this guide with your friends and family to help them navigate the world of food additives with confidence.